Welcome to Grace Every Morning. I am Pastor Rosita and I serve in Grace Filipino Ministry. The application question for 1 Samuel 12 is, Will God abandon His people? In this chapter, Samuel delivered his farewell speech to Israel. This marks the change of leadership from the time of the judges to the time of the kings, where Samuel was the last judge and Saul was the first king of Israel. In this speech, he reminded them of God's faithfulness throughout their journey from Egypt to the Promised Land. But he also reminded them of their unfaithfulness when they had asked for a human king. This demonstrated their lack of trust in God to provide for their needs. As Israel reflected about what they had done, fear came to them. But Samuel encouraged them through verses 22 and 24, our key verses for today. Let us read together. Verse 22, The Lord will not abandon His people, because that would dishonor His great name. For it has pleased the Lord to make you His very own people. 24, But be sure to fear the Lord and faithfully serve Him. Think of all the wonderful things He has done for you. God will remain faithful to Israel, though they may have been unfaithful, for they are His beloved people and for the sake of His great name. During the time, one's name stood for one's character and reputation. The name of our God revealed who He is. For God to abandon His people would be inconsistent with His character and reputation. His only desire was that His faithfulness would cause Israel to fear Him and serve Him faithfully. This chapter reminded me of the faithful love and dedication of my late father to our family despite his challenges and our naughtiness sometimes. His job as a jeepney driver was not easy because it required him to wake up as early as 2 in the morning and to return back home as late as 7 in the evening. I grew up watching his life. He could have abandoned his five children like every ordinary father of his age, but he never did. He chose to protect and provide until the five of us completed our university. He lived up to his principle to be the best father he could be. Praise God. If our earthly father will not abandon us, how much more our heavenly father? In 2 Timothy 2.13, Paul wrote, If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny who he is. By sending the Lord Jesus, God demonstrated his faithfulness. He never gives up on those he loves because he cannot deny who he is. In gratefulness for all the wonderful things he had done for us, let us revere the Lord and serve him faithfully. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your faithfulness and for all the wonderful things you have done for us. Guide us and lead us so we can revere you and serve you faithfully. May our lives be blessing to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me. May God's faithfulness cause us to obey him and love him even more. The Lord bless you.